Hi guys, this is Umar Zalkran and in this tutorial I will try to teach how to create an reflective icon. First of all, I gotta say something about my English. I'm a Turk and this is not my native language. Furthermore, this is my first English tutorial. I will use American accent and if I mistake, please comprehend me. Okay, let's start. As a beginning, I need to find an icon, but there are some criterions about icons that we'll use. Dimension of icons must behave at least 256 feet and 256 high. Also, format of icons must be PNG. These are very important for our quality of icons. Firstly, I start Waterfox. In fact, it's just Firefox for 64 bit operating systems. In search bar, I type Rocket Duck. Then click on Image. After that, I change my size options. Click on Exactly and type 256. And search again. Now I will change my format. I add some Google code. I type file type PNG to end all my source text and search again. Yes, this icon is enough for us. Let's check it out. Full size image. And that's it. I save this image on my desktop. Okay, I found my icon and I have reflective icon them in PSD format. If you don't know what's PSD, it's just an abbreviation of Photoshop documents, just an extension of Photoshop. Now we can start to create our reflective icon. Open firstly, reflective icon them. If you don't have this workspace, you should change your workspace as essentials. In addition, image mode must be RGB for web. Now I open Rocket Dock icon, just click File Open and choose Rocket Dock logo. As you see, we have now two tabs. First, you should press Ctrl and A together on your keyboard. Select all, you will see matching ends and press Ctrl and C together and copy that icon. Now we return reflective icon them tab. With Ctrl and V we copy our icon over the shadow layer. Our new layer must be at the top at the top of all layers. Sorry. I'll change the name of this layer as Rock Duck. Double click the layer one takes and I type rock truck. In this section I will use free transform. Open edit menu and click on free transform. Or just press Ctrl and T together. Before free transform process you should active snap option and it will make easier that our job. Click on view menu and select, select snap. Now move your icon to top right. You can easily place your icon with pink smart guides. After your placement, press left shift button on your keyboard and do not release your finger on left shift button. Just hold on to press left shift button. It will keep the same dimension rate of icon, then straighten your icon with holding left click until you reach the first blue guides and press enter. Ok, now I will duplicate this icon to create a reflection. Right click on the top layer and select duplicate layer or just press Ctrl and J together. Change the name of layer as rock top reflection and click OK button. Hold on left click button and change the place of this layer. Our new layer must be under the rock top layer. Hold on left click again and change the place of icon on our artboard. Smart guides will help you. Now we will add layer marks to make a reflection. Click on layer mask. You will see a white square and click on gradient tool. 
and choose the black and white preset and gradient editor and click on OK button and left click on our rocket top left click to icon and hold the click extend your line from top right to bottom left and release your finger now change the value of opacity and fill as 55 double click the bar and change them and finally we will change our base color double click on the hue saturation symbol and you will see properties panel colorized box must be selected and i will use these three options to colorize my base icon now make 100 of saturation value and press the light inside it i'm making this to find yellow color change the hue value until you find the yellow okay i think that's enough now change the saturation and light as you want And that's it. I will show you how to save your work in PNG format. Click on the file menu and select Save As. Choose the PNG in pull down menu and click on the Save. Now you have a reflective icon. I hope you enjoyed with this tutorial. Take care.